Hey, 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 Med School Made Easy. Uh, we're gonna talk about the Kopkroft Galt equation. What you're doing here is you're avoiding doing a uh, significant uh, uh, collection of urine. Uh, instead, you're estimating what the uh, creatinine clearance rate is of someone's kidneys. This is clinically important to rate what kind of chronic kidney disease stage they have or see how their uh, AKI is doing, etc. So we're trying to find an estimated creatinine clearance. Um, what you'll need for this is the patient's body weight, the patient's age, uh, the patient's biological sex, and then the patient's current or most recent serum creatinine. Okay, and then there's an equation here where I put them in. So first things first, you're gonna do 140 minus the patient's age. Too easy, right? You're then gonna multiply that by their uh, body weight in kilograms. Boom. Um, on the bottom, you're gonna take a constant, which is 72, and you multiply that times the patient's serum creatinine, so 1.0 or 4.6 or what have you. Um, the last thing here that gets a little tricky is if the patient is a female, you need to times it by another uh, constant, and that's 0.85 if female. And the reason why is because females have less of a body mass, creatinine is a byproduct of muscle breakdown, etc. Um, this will get you your estimated creatinine clearance, and then you can um, you know, check someone's renal uh, function or uh, estimate their uh, stage of kidney disease, etc. Thanks.